Welcome to my channel, Planning with Maserati and Scripture Writing by Honey. I am going to be doing day one of the daily scripture writing for March. And we are doing, or at least focusing on, comfort. So before we begin, i like to tell everybody welcome. Please subscribe, hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Please give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment, and share the video. That would be greatly appreciated. So my voice is going to go in and out. I may, you know, have to stop the video to cough or something. So I'll pause the video if that's the case. But for right now, we're doing, again, the theme is going to be comfort. Which I like that theme. And it's going to be 2 Samuel 12, 18 through 23. And you'll find the list in the description below. You'll find the list in the previous video of me introducing the new scripture writing. And I still owe you February. I feel so bad. So yeah, so if you're not subscribed, please do so. Hit that big thumbs up. Leave a comment and share the video. I always say it twice and it's just I don't think if I said it. Like I don't remember if I said it when I'm talking. That's kind of weird. But yeah, so I have it all set up. And let's get the Bible. I have to fix these Bible tabs too today. I have a list of things to do, list of things to catch up. So I was saying 2 Samuel 12. And then here is 18 through 23 down here. It's not too much and it's not bad. And to start it off, it's on the seventh day, the child died. David's attendants were afraid to tell him that the child was dead. For they thought while we while the child was still living, he wouldn't listen to us when we spoke to him. How can we show how can we now tell him the child is dead? He may do something desperate. David noticed that his attendants were whispering among themselves, and he realized the child was dead. Is the child dead, he asked. I keep losing my spot. I am so sorry. Yes, they replied, he is dead. Then David got up from the ground after he had washed, put on lotion, and changed his clothes. He went into the house of the Lord and worshipped. Then he went to his own house, and at the, his request, they served him food, and he ate. His attendants asked him, why are you acting this way? While the child was alive, you fasted and wept. But now that the child is dead, you get up and eat. He answered, while the child was still alive, I fasted and wept. I thought, who knows? The Lord may be gracious to me and let the child live. But now that he is dead, why should I go on fasting? Can I bring him back again? I will go to him, I will go to him, but he will not return to me. Well, I felt that one. So how's everybody doing? I'm not going to ask you how's your scripture writing going because obviously it's just day one. And well, let me ask you, how was your February scripture writing? Mine was not so good, but I still will. And this is not like anything weird. I was holding grocery bags and you know how like when they're so heavy it was cutting off my circulation so that this is nothing it's just it'll go away in time a couple days yeah so um it just looks so weird on my hand like that but they're bags I mean there's nothing you can do about it when you're trying to carry bags up the stairs so yeah my scripture writing is terrible for February, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I was sick pretty much the whole month. Of, I I feel like it was the whole month of February. Like I had a couple of good days, and then I got bad, and then I couldn't talk. I'm getting my voice back, but I still have you know where I lose it, especially at work. Like I cannot talk for some reason at work. And it's terrible because that's basically what I have to do all day long. 
So yeah, so that has been one crazy month for me. I'm glad it's over. Um, just gotta now move on and you know, just get better. Keep taking medicine. I'm not a person to take medicine. I don't think it helps. But that's just me. Like, I don't think you should be putting medication in your body. That's considered a drug, you know? So, just gotta deal with it and try to get better. Today I made this um, new dish that's new to me as making it. But, I mean, it's not an actual new dish. Just me making it. And it's a Spanish dish, which is... Basically, hamburger meat and peppers. Sweet peppers and orange peppers or yellow peppers. Whatever peppers you have. And a little sofrito, which is a Spanish, you know, cooking ingredient that, you know, Puerto Ricans use. Well, I was making it today and I'm thinking, like, well, I just made, like, a little bowl with rice and this, you know, it's called pica Leo or something like that. I cannot say the name for nothing. And I'm Puerto Rican. So that's it. <laughs> and I made a dish and it's like really good for the first time of me making it. But I cannot say the name for the life of me. Wait, I think I just lost my spot while the child was still living. Okay. I'm like, wait a minute. Something's not right here. So for the month of March, I am going to just write in green, washing in green, all that good stuff. Just, you know, for the sake of St. Patrick's Day. But again, you don't need none of that stuff. If you just want plain paper and pen, it's up to you. But I just want to use what I have. Use it up because I feel like I'm a hoarder. I'm going through my stuff today and I'm like, yeah, I was already, you are a hoarder. So I just want to use it up. Plus, I love anything planning. So, that is why. This is like a long verse and it's only... Uh, one, two, three, four. Am I missing up here? Wait, I'm just checking to make sure I did not mess up while I'm talking about food. No, okay, so I'm fine. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing is just using green for St. Patrick's Day. And I loved that, you know, you guys, well, most of you both voted for the comfort one for the scripture writing. Oh, I feel like I'm talking in circles again. So I'm glad we're doing that. But sometimes you do need, you know, comfort. Sometimes you have things in your life that you need to be comforted about. So this is a really good one, I think. There's another scripture writing we're doing. Well, there's going to be, I think, four altogether. I'm going to try to post as many as I can today. I can't promise I will. Well, one is not going to be posted today, and that's our daily bread. Or, no, In Touch Ministries, I'm sorry. They don't have one on Sunday, so we won't have to worry about that. But our daily bread, not our daily, this one and In Touch Ministries will not be filmed today because, again, like I said, is they don't have one for that day. But the one for the book of James is already up on my channel that's what i was meaning to say i don't know why i keep saying our daily bread there's probably one out there for that one i should probably check on it i don't know but i love writing and i don't know where it came from but i think now that i get older i still love to write i know i used to love to write when i was a child like when it was homework 
I was always excited to write it. I don't know why. And then I got older and I stopped, you know, doing the pretty lettering and all that other stuff. And now that I'm like older, older, planner related older, where everything planning, everything paper, pen. Yeah, I love to write. And scripture writing. Scripture writing is my thing and I love it. I love to see this notebook filled with scripture. I love that. So I'll keep doing what I like to do. I'm not hurting nobody outside. I'm not running the streets. I cook my meal and I scripture write. That's all I need to do. And focus on God. As well as my life as well. But put God first. This is not too bad. It's not long. I'm already on 19. There's only, what, three more to go. It's not bad. Scripture writing is a good outlet just to sit with your thoughts, with the Lord. You know, asking questions like, you know, why did this happen at that time? Or, again, like, the kid died. And he was, you know, so, not sewing, I was going to say so and weeping. He was fasting and weeping. And uh, when the kid died, he stopped doing it. So it's always questions you ask, like why, how come, and it's always good to know, you know, back then, what happened back then. Oh, it's part of history. I feel like my hand is swollen for some reason. It looks swollen. I don't know. This one here, it just looks shiny and swollen. My hand has been so shiny lately and it's... Ever since I had this job and... I don't know. I just knocked over... almost knocked over the camera. I don't understand what is going on with my hands. I'm like all over the place today. I am just so glad to be back talking on, you know, the channel and filming again because it was depressing. I was sick every single night, like just vomiting, like not to be gross or anything. But every time I ate something, I vomited late at night. Um, couldn't sleep. Was up all night choking, coughing. And I didn't have a cold. I had a severe upper respiratory infection. Which the doctor said was a very bad sinus infection. That took over my voice for some reason. And I don't even know how. But I guess... It was irritated. So I'm just glad to be back. I hope you guys missed me while I was a little bit gone. I was posting like little here and there videos as I was sick, but this video I could not do. Like scripture writing, I could not do. You have to read the Bible, then you're talking as you're doing the video. And it's too hard. You lose your voice. And I'm like, it's just going to have to wait. And now I'm behind so many scripture writings. And I don't like doing it without doing it with you. Like, I don't like doing scripture writing without, you know, reading the Bible to you. I don't know. It's just something that I've been doing for a while now. So I wait to film it so I can at least touch one person out there. So sorry if I sound like I'm going in circles. I'm just so excited to be back. Oh, no pen. Don't do that at me. Almost ran out. 
And there's plenty of ink. And again, I'm focusing on just the green. So I just put in, wait, what did I just do? I'm on 20. Oh yeah, okay, I'm right. I was going to put 8 and then A-T-E instead of E-E-A-T. Uh, I don't know. I was just in my own little world, I guess. So yes, yeah, so I hope you enjoy these videos. I'll stop rambling. It is fun to scripture write. It's fun seeing, you know, like, it's not fun seeing scripture writing. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. I think it's fun to scripture write. I like to look back at it, you know, later in life as like, when, what did I do back then? And so that's why I'm dating each one. Each scripture writing I am actually dating. And I want to, you know, like later in life, see what I did. If it's a year from now, if it's six months from now, I want to see what I did as, you know, my time. And how did I spend it wisely? And I think this is a perfect, you know, way to spend your time. And we don't get paid for this. Like, seriously, I just love doing scripture writing. And I say it in every video, and it's true. People go to clubs. People, you know, hang out with their friends. Me, I'd rather be here. What a piece of pen and paper. Watching a little TV after I get done and relaxing. Focusing on the Lord and not out in the streets. I'm safe this way. And you could probably hear my voice go in and out. So you will hear that most definitely. For the first couple of days, I sounded like a man. And then for the last, like, week, I think it was, I didn't have any voice. <laughs> so now I'm back with, you know, somewhat of a voice, which is great. And I am happy. I hope you're happy that I'm back. Not that I've been gone long. I just don't like to do scripture writing without you. So yeah, I owe you. I owe you a lot of videos. And I gotta do it because it's in this book. And I'll never make it a chore. That's why I didn't do it. You know, like that would be my first one. No, my first one is this one. Because I could have just came on here and did a whole bunch of February videos. I'm like, nope. I got to get my scripture writing done first. And that could come later. Because why? It's not a chore and it's not a rush. It's when it gets done. And I'm happy to do it. I'm loving this green. It's a very pretty. It doesn't look like the cap. At all. It doesn't look like the cap. I don't even know what ink this is. Or who it's by. But it's not smearing. The pen originally I was going to use. Which is this one here. Uh, is it this one? No. It's another one. It's the In Touch. Um, I went to go write the list down for that one. And good lord. That pen did not dry. It took a very long time. It's probably still wet. This one is like dry. Like it's not on my hands or anything. Certain pens you have to watch because it does not dry. I didn't even think this was a long one. And it feels like I've been writing for days. Which is good. And I just feel like I just got on.
started saying like welcome to my channel and look at how far we got that's not long though because it's only what 20 minutes and that's just me rambling so it does not take you 20 minutes believe you me if you don't ramble like I do you'll be done in no time plus I film it so that's why Then I stop and jibber jabber and all that good stuff. But I hope you enjoy and get something out of scripture writing, Bible reading, you know, things like that. I hope you get something out of my channel. Um, I do go ahead and post it on two channels only because I want to reach people. You know, if it's one, if it's two, if it's a hundred. It doesn't matter to me as long as somebody's being, somebody's learning something besides my rambling on that I do. You know, if it's just me reading the Bible to you guys and you're learning something, I'm okay with that. But I just want you to know I am glad to be back. I am going to be focusing on the scripture writing. Somehow I think it just messed up. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, so I will be focusing on the scripture writing. You'll see like a mixture of different things on the channel. There's going to be some crafts coming up. Some DIYs. Some things like that. But mainly, I have been just loving journaling. The planning I put to the side sometimes. And I just love to do this. So that is it for day one. We got through it and it didn't take no time at all. And thank you for watching. Sorry I ramble on, but I just want to get like my point across of I'm happy to be back. And yeah. So I will talk to you in the next video. And I hope you enjoyed this. Enjoyed this. <laughs> Enjoy this video and I will talk to you in the next one. Have a good day and talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.